Welcome to Frequency Matters, the RF and Microwave Update Series. I'm Pat Hindle. I'm here with Roger Hall, General Manager of Corvo's High Performance Solutions, and that includes the aerospace, defense, wireless infrastructure, and power management areas. Welcome, Roger. Well, it's great to be with you today, Pat. We see that defense continues to grow. Can you tell us what you're seeing for some of the trends in the defense market? You know, it's pretty interesting, and, and it's not... Uh, a surprise, because we've been talking about this for several years, Pat, that as GAN has become more and more mainstream, the customers are trying and finding new applications. So we're seeing in the trends, higher frequency and lower frequency use cases where they're actually coming in and applying the, the technology. And what we're seeing as well is higher and higher levels of integration, not just, you know, classic mimic, but integration of multi-chip modules as well as other kinds of technologies into the same uh, package. And, and finally, we're seeing that this is all coming together with, with innovation. And uh, we're seeing this from both the customer side being very innovative as well as, as us and our suppliers as we come together and meet these really critical needs. So what are some of the products that you'll be announcing for this year's IMS 2021 event? Yeah, we're really excited about one of them that kind of pulls all this together. It's a GAN device that uh, is, is really promotes not just integration at the product level, but helps the customer at the integration at the system level. And, and that brings the innovation to a new level. That's the uh, a family of products that are commercially, the first commercially available products. They're QPA 007 and 0004. Those two products are reconfigurable uh, mimics, and which is very interesting. They both support, or they support both S and X band within the same product, and they're set up to be adjustable so that the customer can take two radars and replace with one. So you talk about this significant size and, and cost reduction. This makes a real advantage for them, and the way it's. They're, they're set up, the performance efficiency is very nearly the same as the two independent devices. So we, we believe these two different power levels of this product will be transformative in this space. And we're looking forward to it as customers, you know, start putting them in the field. Wow, that's great. It really helps to be flexible like that and be able to use it for multiple applications. Yeah, it could be used for both commercial and defense in these in these frequencies. So we're, we're seeing them not just the defense products, but some of your weather radar will also be very interested in these kind of products. So turning to 5G, the buildup continues as the deployments around the world increase. How will customers realize the full potential of 5G? You know, I think it follows very similar trends to what we've been seeing in defense for a while. You know, they're they're moving to products that can provide them more bandwidth, uh, higher frequencies, higher power levels, which is well suited for GAN. We're seeing GAN as the primary, in most cases, the only uh, technology being used in their power amplifier cases. You know, and you still have, you know, the receive side, um, which is still a mix of gas and silicon. And so we're, we're just seeing a really uh, general broad uh, growth around the world, including the U.S., as, as the deployments start happening in kind of the, what they call C-band, which is a, around two to three gig um, range. And um, we're seeing lots of volumes across uh, many of the OEMs going into many, many different uh, um, operators. So it's not just a China play now. It's uh, spread and, and growing. And, and this is an exciting market because they, they pretty much replace all of the, the base stations. So we're probably looking at four to five years of sustained growth in this market space. So uh, very excited and excited to see how it'll also transform our lives as we have more data, lower latency and, and more internet of things and the ability to, to pull this all together in this new virtual world that we live in. Yeah, it's great growth for the RF market. So good for all the vendors there. So the IMS virtual event is coming up June 20th through the 25th, and it'll be on demand until July 25th. Corvo will be an exhibitor, so you can tell us what we can expect from your booth. Yeah, so 
we're still supporting the virtual um, events as well as starting to st do some stuff in person. We're looking forward to next year's event in person as well. Um, but for this year, as you said, Pat, we are heavily ingrained in the and presenting a lot of digital content. There's, we'll be highlighting a lot of the new products in Wi-Fi 6, which is really exciting. Also in the, the base station market and the defense markets that we talked about previously. You know, and we actually are going to have people live, real, real engineers, real uh, marketing guys online, ready to answer your questions. So we're looking forward to interacting with you and, and really, you know, exploring how we can solve your most complex problems. Um, also, you know, at any point, even when the show is not going, you can go to uh, Corvo.com for 24-7 support. And during the event, you know, if you want to access and understand what's going on, you can just go to Corvo.com forward slash newsroom forward slash trade dash shows and click the IMS icon. So we're trying to make it easy to find this. Um, we're really excited about the event. Uh, we really miss all of the the face to face that that we've had in the past. But um, in this new world, we figured out how to work with you guys to make this a success. So we're looking forward to this event in the next week. Well, great. Thank you, Roger, for uh, joining me today and giving us an update on the market and Corvo's virtual IMS booth. We hope that everyone will attend the virtual IMS and you can sign into their uh, sessions starting June 20th and through the 25th. they will be on demand for a whole month. So you'll be able to go in and review things and still visit booths and get more information. Please register today and you can get access during that period and for the full month. We thank everybody for watching and see you next time on Frequency Matters.